So Ben's older friend slash mentor invited us to a blues party tonight, which is in like three hours. And when we said, hey, what should we wear tonight? What's the, what's the dress like? What's the attire? Her reply was, it's the blues, baby. Which didn't help me at all. What do I wear to this party? I gotta figure it out now. So it's gotta be like a two birds, one stone kind of thing, and I gotta be fast about it because it can't be late because I'm trying to work on that. So this past week, I learned how to ride the streetcar back and forth to work and around town so I can save on money. I got like at least 30 projects out of the way at work so that I can prepare for next week because this next week on Wednesday, we bought tickets to Kanye. I'm thrilled. It's after Labor Day, what am I thinking? But then after I pressed submit on those tickets to Kanye, I was like, hey, Anna, let's get serious about spending money on experiences and less on other things in your life, like clothes and expensive food. And maybe it's time to make that a priority like you've always wanted to instead of kind of on the side. So that's the first step, and it's a small goal in my mind. So we'll see how that goes. This is too short. Everything's too short. You guys have this problem too? Everything is way too short. I rearranged my apartment this week. That feels good. My mom sent me this really cute letter with a leaf from Georgia in the mail this week. I thought a lot about politics this week. I got this dropped off on my door this week. I'll never open this. I want to vote, but I want to still know more about it. I feel like time's running up. And I watched your videos this week. and. It's incredible how much we all are relating to this friendship thing, which made me think a lot more about it too. And here's what I thought about. So, like two months ago, I had this next door neighbor in my apartment, and her name was Sarah, and she's wonderful, and she was moving out one day, and I was so bummed, because we seemed like the same kind of person, and I thought maybe we could get along really well. So I introduced myself, she showed me around her apartment, I tried to help her move some boxes up, and she's great. She's like going to school to be an engineer right now. She's working part-time at this restaurant. It was like, it was super. And then she gave me a piece of cake, I think. And so I like immediately ran to the grocery store and I bought everything to make banana bread for her so that I could exchange that friendship move. Cause I was like, wow, this is really valuable. This isn't gonna happen very often. Let's get this done. So. And then I left it on her doorstep and then like in a week's time she left four cupcakes at my door with a note that was like here's my phone number thanks so much for the banana bread that was super nice of you let's hang out one day one weekend and for some reason her doing that completely paralyzed the process for me and I haven't figured out why yet I haven't texted her back I wrote six different like draft texts to figure out what to say back or to like initiate that hangout process and what? I don't know why. So then fast forward to like 10 minutes ago when I was thinking about the why of the situation and the how comes and I applied it to other parts of my life and I think this applies in a lot of cases. Sometimes at work I won't even start projects creatively until unless I have a concrete way of accomplishing it. If, if I have an idea and I can execute it, but otherwise I just won't do the project. If I don't think I can do it originally or differently than someone else has in the past, which is dumb because they're just ads, but I won't. I won't even start the project until I can figure that out. Anyways, I don't think I've thought about this enough and I'll think about it more and I'll text her back and I'm gonna get back to you on how that goes. These are some clips of what I did last week. Bye!
I want to hear your heartbeat 